In a certain business, production index P is directly proportional to efficiency index E, which in turn is directly proportional to the investment index I. What is P if I equals 70? Well, we know these are directly proportional. One way to relate quantities that are directly proportional is to set up a linear equation with a constant. So P equals A X for con some constant A. And similarly, E equals B I for some constant B. And then we could also combine these and say that P equals A B times I. So if we found these constants, we'd be able to relate these three variables. Now again, if thinking about proportions in this way is something that's unfamiliar to you, I'd highly recommend check out magoosh.com. We have several hundred math videos that will help prepare you for the GMAT, also several hundred videos on the verbal side, including videos that will explain exactly what you need to know about proportions for the GMAT. So statement number one tells us that when E equals 0.5, I equals 60. So this allows us to relate E and I, and this would allow us to solve for B. Now, if we solve for B, we wouldn't necessarily be able to go directly from I to P because we don't know anything about A. So oh, while this is useful, this in and of itself is not sufficient. So statement number one, insufficient. Statement number two tells us that when P equals 2, I equals 50. Well, then we can go directly to this equation. 2 equals AB times 50. Well, that will allow us to solve for the product AB. And once we know that product AB, then all we'd have to do is plug in 70, and we'd know what P was. We'd know the production index. So this statement by itself would allow us to solve for the numerical value of the production index. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Statement number one is insufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice B.